Hey, what's up? It's Bond. Let's talk about Mass Effect. This is another video I'm going to do kind of uh, taking little bits of N7 Day uh, that I've covered in kind of a broad way and talking about some of the little tiny details uh, in slightly more expanded fashion. So today I'm going to be talking about the uh, recording of Liara and someone that we got uh, that was part of the teaser video concept art thing. So first, uh, as we will with all of these things, let's start off with the hard facts, the actual information, and then we'll dive into speculation and my own opinion. Okay, so here we had uh, a uh, this video was uh, part of the blog at the bottom. You could download it um, and, and watch it. They also posted it here on Twitter. Uh, this is Happy N7 Day from all across the stars. We found this uh, interesting footage you may want to magnify or look at a bit more closely. They do have a download link. If you yourself want to find this tweet and uh, take a closer peek at this. But here we have uh, the art that is uh, of, of the of the relay uh, structure. And we had this audio. Okay, um, so uh, beyond everyone taking, you know, the, the, their close peeks at everything that was in this art, um, you do see that there is some like really slight movement amongst uh, the things in this picture. Um, I don't think this is an actually modeled thing. This appears to be, uh, they're just doing some stuff with like some PNGs and stuff like that. They're uh, moving around some transparent uh you know, things like the ship flying here, this one moving over here. Um, there is the, 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 the famous glimmer. I think everyone's talking about right there. Um, I think that's because it's a monitor. We'll talk about that in another video. Um, but shortly after this, uh, some sleuths on the internet, uh, took the audio, fiddled with it, flipped it upside down, turned it inside out and found some audio that appeared to be Liara talking. Uh, shortly after that, the official uh, Mass Effect account said, hey, congrats to you people who decoded the, uh, the footage. Here's a clean transmission, which we will listen to now. I can see something. How did we miss this? Exactly. The Council will be furious. Although they should know by now not to underestimate human defiance. It helps worse than most living fit. The council will be okay, uh, and so what that was, uh, pretty obviously, was uh, Liara speaking to someone or something. So then, shortly after that, Mike Gamble, the the lead uh, project director on the next Mass Effect game, the the head honcho, uh, posted this. Although they should know by now not to underestimate human defiance. Um. So this isn't everything, but there, there's, um, so that's everything we have. That's what we know for a fact, okay, is, is, is that information. Now we dive into speculation land uh, that also includes my own opinion. So uh, I think there's a couple interesting things here. First, uh, Gamble did not post the entire quote, um, and, and let's, let's listen to it one more time. I can see it. How did we miss this? Exactly. The council will be furious. Exactly. The council will be furious. Although they should know by now not to underestimate human defiance. So, um, there's a few things there, um, but there's a little bit more. Let's listen to the very end of the clip. That was the most living fit. So she says something here. I can see something. I don't know what she's saying there. I can 
see it. I can see it, I think, is what she's saying. I can see it. I can see it. How did we miss this? How did we miss this? Exactly. The council will be furious. Exactly. The council will be furious. So th this is, I assume, uh, and this is going into speculation land. She is looking at the same footage as us and she's saying, I can see it. Um, how did we miss this? The council will be furious. So that means that this image, this relay, um, some people are calling it mass relay. I'm calling it a mobile relay. I'm going to stick with my guns on that. Um, she's speaking to someone who is not associated with the council and is not associated with the humans. Now, who the humans are in that context, we have no idea. This image has, th this relay, um, has Cerberus markings on it. It has Cerberus colors on it. So maybe the humans it's referring to are leftover humans um, you know, from the, the group formerly known as Cerberus, maybe still known as Cerberus, that obviously would have been significantly uh, impacted by the end of Mass Effect 3 by losing the elusive man and having, I assume, a lot of their infrastructure and people uh, killed and attacked. Um, but maybe they would still be viable to do things like this. The humans also could be a reference to the human alliance, to the, the Alliance Navy uh, and the Earth forces and their colonies. Um, so she could be talking about that as well. It also could be a third group we don't know anything about yet. I've theorized that this relay uh, was in, mid, uh, in construction or in planning by Cerberus for some reason. You know, with captured Reaper tech, they were trying to make their own relay uh, for some reason. And uh, maybe, you know, in the post Mass Effect 3 world, if it's not Cerberus still building it, then maybe, you know, it's the Alliance or someone else has uh, decided to continue the project. So, you know, I think we can speculate pretty heavily that this is her. Um, a human group is doing something on their own, not with the council. That's why they'd be furious. Uh, so I think that's really interesting. And there's lots of ways to speculate about that. Um, there's also the factor of who is Liara talking to. Now, the assumption so far by a lot of people has been that she's talking to a Geth. I don't think that's true, and for a few reasons. The main reason being, throughout the entire trilogy, um, whenever we spoke to Geth in Mass Effect 2 and 3, they spoke to the organics in the whatever universal language the... Uh, you, you know that, that that all of the species use that's you know translated automatically by their technology, and so it wouldn't make sense uh, this beeping and bopping that you hear. We'll listen to it one more time. That right there. How did we miss this? That right there. And then a little bit more right there. People have been saying that, oh, that's the Geth, obviously. And and it it does sound kind of like the Geth from the trilogy. But again, I don't know why the Geth would be speaking to an organic in that language, because you know, it's not being automatically translated, so in theory she shouldn't be able to understand it. My theory and my speculation on this is that the Alliance is um, either she is part of this or that's an encrypted communication where uh, we have access to Liara's side of it, but the other side is encrypted. And so maybe she can un she can hear it, but we can't. Now, that would imply that she isn't with whoever we are in this situation looking at this footage. It would imply that we are listening in on Liara without her knowing uh, in theory. So... That also brings a bunch of implications of like, is Liara, are we spying on her? Do, you know, do we think she's the bad guy? There's implication that we, you know, whoever's taking this footage is part of the Alliance. There's some references to that. So is the Alliance spying on Liara and on this mysterious relay ship? You know, I don't know. I really don't think it's the Geth. We have reason to believe that the Geth are dead 
and the universe we're coming into, we also have reason to believe that we'll be trying to resurrect the Geth or bring them back in some capacity, or else the poster from 2021's in Seven Day doesn't make much sense. It's a very clear reference to the Geth. It wouldn't make sense to reference them in such ways unless they're gonna be part of the next game, but it also pretty heavily implied that the Geth are uh, dead, at least at that time. You know, lots of vagueness, lots of guesses. Um, now, who could she be talking to? I think it could be the mysterious benefactor. She's involved with them in some way. They stayed in the Milky Way. The initiative is still alive and well in the Milky Way, even after launching the Andromeda missions and surviving the Reaper War. And so she's communicating with someone like that. Maybe she's communicating with whatever group is in control um, of this project or like a spy that's part of that project or that group. Uh, Maybe she's the one running the project to get this all going. That wouldn't make much sense in context, but I don't know. I think it's really interesting. I don't think it's the Geth. I am not positive Liara knows she's being listened to. And I think we're gonna see uh, in some capacity that the humans are gonna get pretty big headed about quote unquote saving the universe, the galaxy from the Reapers. Uh, the council is really gonna not like that, especially because uh, the council uh, is on the Citadel, which is in human space now, orbiting the human homeworld, likely with a tractor beam connecting it to that said homeworld. Uh, humans are going to be pretty high and mighty after doing what they did in Mass Effect 3 and throughout the trilogy. Um, I think we're going to be seeing a splintering and a challenging of power in the next game, and all of this stuff really uh, seems to, to lend to that theory. So... I think it's interesting. I think it's fun to dive into the stuff a little bit. Um, let me know what you think down in the comments. I am super curious to, to hear you out. If you want to talk more about it, jump into my Discord and go into the Mass Effect chat room. We can hash that stuff out. I think it's exciting and fun to chat about and even argue a little bit. Uh, but that's all I have for this one. So uh, be sure to subscribe to this channel if you want more Mass Effect videos. Please like this video and comment down below to help it get noticed. Check me out on social media as Bond Diesel, at Bond Diesel on Twitter, Bond Diesel on Instagram. You can catch me on Twitch as Bond Diesel, where I stream a few times a week. And um, you can check out my podcast on all podcast providers and this YouTube channel. It's called The Echo Cast. It's a weekly news podcast, and I almost always find a reason to talk about Mass Effect. So uh, that's all I have for this one. Until next time. <laughs>